Hey guys, this is a Transformer T100 TAF that I bought secondhand for 30 euros. It was meant to come with a power adapter, but there's none with it, so the guy dropped the price by 10 euros. So the battery is dead and I'm no charger for it, so I can't really do anything without taking the back off it. So I'm gonna take the back off it, take a picture of some take a picture of the boards, see if we can inject voltage on it and see what's happening. This is the main board from that laptop and when I took it out of the motherboard the first thing I saw was a small bit of damage right here so however it happened there's a slight burn mark on the side of this inductor here and seemingly some dark spots on it here as well um, I did notice a small bit of liquid on certain parts of the board but I didn't know if that was just because I collected it from a guy when it was really heavy rain and he had already had the back off it so I wasn't sure about that but there certainly was visible signs of something being wrong if you want to put it like that but as I said already I don't have a charger for this so how do I get voltage onto this board well there's no circular coax uh, DC jack like there is on a lot of the bigger laptops so it's through a USB port or some other port that this is charged so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up the charger for this and just find out which port the voltage is meant to be coming in on after a quick Google search I found this so this is an AC adapter charger for Asus transformer book T100 and as you can see the model number I have is on this. So if we look at this charger, we'll be able to find out the voltage that we need to inject and the port where to inject it. Well, looking at that, that's a USB type B connection. You can see the little B on it. So that's the port it comes in on. And then for voltage, we're looking at an input of 100 to 200 volts AC and an output of five volts and up to two amps. So what we need to do is we need to find that USB port and inject 5 volts. That's what I'm going to try and do next. So if we go back to our motherboard, we can see that our USB Type B port is right here. So if I zoom in on that, we can see that there appears to be two 0 ohm resistors here close to where our USB port is. So I'm going to hazard a guess that this is the input pin right here so you plug in your adapter we've got our grounds here and here and then this looks to me like where the voltage is coming onto the board so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my DC power supply I'm going to inject 5 volts here and see what, see what happens with the motherboard now because I've seen some damage or what looks like damage on the board I'm going to be a little bit conservative when I'm injecting the voltage here now we know the power adapter for this is 5 volts and 2 amps of current however I'm going to limit that to 500 milliamps uh, just in case there is a short in the motherboard so here's my DC power supply we are going to connect the black wire to ground which is just on the outside here we're going to connect a red jumper wire to the point that I mentioned earlier on where the two zero arm resistors are and on the voltage we're going to set 5 volts and the limit of current is going to be 0 0.5 amps or 500 milliamps so we're going to inject that voltage and see what happens now when I injected my 5 volts with a limit of 500 milliamps at this point immediately without me pressing a power button or doing anything to the laptop this 500 milliamps immediately maxed out and what I found was that the section of the board that I was looking at initially this got really really hot here uh, just this section right here so what I decided to do was the usual trick come on you know at this stage what did I do okay well I put it under the microscope uh, turn on the power onto the board put a little bit of alcohol here or petrol or flux or whatever you want and I took a video image of what happened on this section of the board so let's get a look at that so once again I'm just about to inject 5 volts with a limit of 500 milliamps onto this board this is the section that's getting warm and I've just doused it in a small bit of lighter fluid 
and hopefully that will flesh out which component is getting hot and which component is short. So let's watch the video. Okay, did you see that? It's very, very quick. And you can see a small bit of smoke coming off it as well. But it's hard to tell which component it, it's from. Let's watch it again. So this is just before injection, so I'm clicking play on it now and we can see the injection of the voltage. You see how quickly the lighter fluid disappears from this capacitor. So I'm going to make the call that that is our shorted component. When I put my hand, uh, my finger down on it, because this is actually really, really tiny, I can put my finger down on it and I feel it getting warm, but my hands aren't small enough that I can distinguish whether it's this one, this one, or this one. But looking at this video, this certainly seems to be the one that is clearing first. So I'm going to remove this from the board. So this bit is just a quick video of me with my hot air station and my tweezers from above. I hope you can see that. I'm grabbing both sides of that capacitor, heating it, trying to not knock off anything else. And eventually it comes off. So that is the capacitor removed. So with that capacitor removed from the board, I once again injected voltage. And this time I found when I connected my DC power supply that it was only drawing 40 milliamps this time. I'm not exactly sure what this is meant to be, but it's certainly not meant to be, you know, half an amp when it's not even powered on. So the short is gone. Now, after a period of time, that 40 milliamps went up to 400 milliamps, and I checked the battery at the connector over here, and I could see that it was getting up to 3.6 volts. So it looks like the short is gone and the battery is charging. Because previously when I'd measured this, this was down at zero volts. So this is the current state of play with my Transformer T100TAF. I am still injecting power, so I'm injecting at five volts. Here's my ground. Here is the USB port where I'm injecting the positive. And it is currently drawing 200 milliamps. Now I tried to press the power on, but it won't power on right now. I think that's because the battery charge is too low, but I'm gonna leave this here for a while. And I'm pretty confident that after an hour or so, I'm gonna be able to power this on and we'll have a working laptop. Now this laptop, as you saw, is pretty rough. So I just bought it for content for the channel really, because I had nothing else to work on. But that is the state of play with it. I'll power it on and see if it's uh, worth um, giving to somebody. If it's not, I'll just bring it to the dump. So that's my video for this week. So in this video, we showed how to power it up without the USB power adapter and then how to remove the short. The short, I think, was caused by uh, some liquid damage. So I don't think this is going to be a fault that you will find on the range of these laptops or anything like that. So it may not be useful to anybody else who you know, has um, other issues with this. I think this damage was caused by um, water damage. But that's all I got for this week, guys. I'll be back with another video next week. Uh, please leave your comments below and subscribe if you think there's anything here that you might find interesting in the future. Thanks for watching.